May Elohim bless you guys. Today is November 8th of 2021. I have an urgent message. The door will soon be shut. But those that have ears to listen, hear the warnings before it's too late. Today, I had an emergency message to give to the people, a warning message. I will try to be brief, but the title of this message is Blow the Shofar. Blow the trumpet. Blow the shofar. Blow the trumpet is what I kept hearing. Blow the shofar. Sound the alarm. Everything was to sound an alarm. I had a dream and I was shown. I was seeing a military base, the enemy's base. I saw a map, but on this map, you could not see the world. It was not a normal map. It was covered with a white sheet, a white sheet covering the whole entire world. I saw the enemy trying to want to do something, but he could not. He could not make any other move. It's like I could see uh, that game of chess play. I could see the war, the true war between good and evil. I saw Obama, the Antichrist, as well in this dream, how he was wanting to, this eagerness of wanting to step in into power, but he could not. I heard a voice, there were multiple voice, but there was a voice that said, it is his move. We're waiting for him to make his move. We're waiting for him. And they were regarding the father of the next move that he's making. They're waiting for that move. I heard another voice that was simply agitated and said, the war has begun. The war has begun. All the voices in this room are the enemy's lair which agitation was a person eager to, to, to create havoc and destruction, but they could not move. They were paralyzed in a sense of someone wanting to do something, but they couldn't because there was someone preventing them from not moving forward. And as I saw a map that they were looking at, it was a white sheet, literally a white sheet, a white sheet. You could not see the world. It was completely covered with a white sheet. But the emphasis of this dream that I'm trying to alert the people, the urgent message here is that the father will remove that white sheet that I saw and havoc will be exposed. Everything will go down the hill from that. The enemy in this moment, in this time, cannot move because the next move is the father's. Something big is coming. Something huge and major is coming. This is the reason why the shofar is being blown. The urgent message is being sent out to all to hear the warnings. We have no more time. The door will be shut. I saw the further the Father's mercy upon the, his people, upon mankind. His mercy to warn his people, to tell them to be ready to tell them to prepare. All those that have, that can hear, hear. All those that hear say come. And all those that are thirsty for the truth, heed the warnings, heed the warnings. And whosoever so take from the, the water of life freely, 
while you still can. Take from the water of life freely, which is Jesus Christ, our Savior, our beloved, who is coming for his people. On November 4th, as I slept, I heard a clear, a clear voice that was so loud saying, Jesus is coming now. Jesus is coming now. And as I heard this loud voice, so loud next to my ears, I said, Jesus is coming now. I am blowing the trumpet, a urgent message to the people that can still hear his voice, his children that have ears to listen. Listen, listen, repent, turn away from all your wickedness. If you have not gotten yourself baptized, get yourself baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehusha HaMashiach ASAP. Receive the Holy Spirit. Remember, we must repent. We must get baptized for the forgiveness of our sins in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the Holy Spirit. And we must walk in the commandments. We must walk in the commandments. We must keep His commandments. That is how we abide in His love, you see. When we keep the Father's commandments, we stay connected to the vine who is our Messiah, Jesus Christ. Read John 15, the warnings to all believers, to all those that are not keeping his commandments, what would happen to them. John 15, for those that want to truly walk in righteousness, for those that truly want to know the truth, truly want to walk, in the righteousness and in truth. Read John 15 and learn how to abide in the love of Messiah. This dream that I am sharing with you is not just a dream. He speaks in many different ways to many of us in dreams or in vision or simply he speaks to us. Please heed the warnings and don't just take it as a dream. This is a warning message to the people. Blow the shofar, blow the trumpet, warn the people. Time is running out. I felt time in this dream. I felt time slipping. I felt time like not being present. I felt time like in one moment, in one instant, it's going to all change. Please, if you have not repented, repent while well, you still have the opportunity because something major is going to take place and the enemy is right now waiting for the next move. And in my dream, it felt like, a, it, I felt like, the, like that game of chess where, one, the, when, where there is one side against the other side. And right now, I saw it so clear how the next move that they're waiting for is the fathers where they can't do anything. You must understand that the world, everything is in God's hands. Everything is in his hands. The enemy cannot do anything without the father permitting him to. You must understand this foremost. The enemy cannot do anything without the father permitting him to do. Everything that he has been allowed has been, has been to fulfill scripture. Scripture will be fulfilled. But you must understand. We are blowing the shofar. We're blowing the trumpet. I was not shown what would be next of the move. But it's going to be major. Is going to be major. I couldn't wait any longer to share this message. This message is urgent. 
to all believers that have ears to listen. Only his children can hear his voice, you see. Those that are not his children could not, can't hear, okay? They can't hear because they are not from his seed. But those that are from his children, they will have the ears to listen. Please heed the warnings and prepare yourself. Now, we have no time. This is your moment now. Soon, it will all change. It will all be different. It will all be different. Again, I saw a white sheet that was covering the map. And they were waiting. The enemy was waiting for the move of Elohim. His mercy was still there. He was still, he's still holding on, sending out these warnings because he loves his people. He loves you guys. He loves his people. He loves his, he loves us. This is the reason why he's sending out these warnings. So urgent. We have no more time. Prepare your hearts. I'm talking about preparing your heart, preparing yourself physically, like your body, yourself, spiritually, not with food and stuff like that. No, preparing yourself, making sure that you're checking off the box, that you've repented, that you've forgiven people, that you have, that you have a forgiven heart, that you have forgiven those that have done you wrong, that you have repented from your sins, that you got in yourself baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, Dahucha HaMashiach, that you received the Holy Spirit, that you're walking in His commandments, abiding in His love, that you must keep His feasts, His festivals. Do not celebrate the festivals of the world. Those idols, those are pagan. Stay away from them. Stay away from them. Read Leviticus 23 about God's feast days, his feast days, his festivals, and the ones that are not listed. If they're not listed there, do not celebrate it. That's as simple as it gets. If it's not on the list of God's list of things to celebrate, do not celebrate it. Do not celebrate it. Read Leviticus 23. This is the moment, urgent. We must run to Jesus while we still have the opportunity to. Soon, the door will be shut where no one will be able to open. Heed the warnings and abide in the love of Messiah while you still have the opportunity I felt time, guys. We have no time. The enemy is waiting for Elohim to make his move. That's what's keeping them from proceeding. That's what's keeping them from, from moving forward. I saw the Antichrist Obama wanting to be in his position, but he could not, you see. for his children, his people are here. Something is going to go down soon. But we are being warned to make sure that we are right with the Father, that we are seeking him, that we have repented and will continue to repent that we're walking and keeping his commandments. We're abiding in his love, in the love of Dahusha HaMashiach. My brothers and my sisters, the time is now. For those that have ears, come. For those that are thirsty, come. And whosoever will drink from the water of life, 
freely. Jehosha, Hamashiach, is our life, is our truth, is our hope. And we must wait upon him, for he is coming for us. We must wait for Jesus Christ, Jehusha HaMashiach. We must wait upon him. He is coming now. Not soon. Now. <laughs>